Hey, Colin and Shreya Lay here with Lay Roots, an asset protection law firm. And here's some video I saw going around today. It went viral. Angry neighbor threatens to sue neighbor. Yeah, neighbors suing neighbors. And we've talked about this before. It's one of, there's a great Seattle case. Can I help you? That, oh, here it goes. I actually want to talk to you. This is Zelda. Ooh, she I wants to talk. I haven't seen this yet. I, I haven't seen it either. Right now. Get out your neighborhood by law. It's section 5.20. No sign shall be in the yard. If you don't take this Harris Biden shit down, I will sue you. And I was going to have you sell my house. But that's not going to happen now, and you're going to lose a lot of business because of this crap. You get out your neighborhood association bylaws, section 5.20. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. She's angry. She's so angry. And it's all on video. So this <laughs> highlights for me the, the fact that you can sue anyone for anything. You could be ridiculous. You could be upset, whatever. And you can right. use the court system to take out your anger on people. Yes. So this person, they live in an HOA, homeowners association. So meant another mental note about why I never want to buy a place that has a homeowners association. But yes, Colin is very against it. Although I have to say that Pretty much every neighborhood has a homeowners association, so that really limits things for Colin here. All I right. can live wherever I want. <laughs> uh, but this this video highlights the fact that yes, you can sue anyone for any reason. Her reason is you know violating the HOA rules, which I mean that's not her real reason though. Her real reason is anger at this Biden Harris sign. Yeah. Yeah, it is. She's using the HOA rules as an excuse. Yeah. And the thing is, she could go to court. She could file against him. She could maybe get a judgment against him. She could talk about how these signs have given her mental anguish. Right. Emotional and you were, distress. Before the video start, or started in earnest, you were mentioning that case in Seattle, the dog bark case where the neighbor sued their neighbor um, was, over a dog barking. Yeah, and it was the the lawsuit that the person filed was basically like 35 pages of this person ranting about how angry he was about this dog, and the dog sounds like he's as loud as a jet engine. And this neighbor, when she got the lawsuit, basically thought it was a joke. Um, you know, it's this guy venting. Um, but it was an actual lawsuit that the guy filed. Yeah. The, the woman who received the lawsuit didn't show up in court, and so the judge gave the angry neighbor a default judgment of a... Half a million dollars. Which is crazy. Well, I think it's a little unreasonable, at least. I don't know about crazy. Of it's unreasonable. Let's not throw that term around, I guess. <laughs> um, and so, you know, the next thing the neighbor knows, the neighbor who got sued, uh, the sheriff's department is showing up at her house to evict her um, because they're going to take her house, they're going to auction it, they're going to sell it and give the money to her neighbor for his pain and suffering for this barking dog. Right, and then this showcases another example of something similar happening, right? Where someone is threatening to sue their neighbor. Instead of just having like a normal conversation with them about it. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I jumped No, in no, in. That was, that's exactly right. Um, and so it just, it goes to show that people can file lawsuits about anything, neighbors pitted against neighbors, strangers on the street can come from anywhere. <laughs> and I also want to highlight another important thing, Shreya. Okay. So say maybe this person um, got maybe like a small amount, small judgment against him. Man, my eye itches. <laughs> got a small judgment against him. And at least here in Washington State, if there's a judgment against you and you own real estate in your name, that judgment will automatically attach to your real estate. And so maybe that person doesn't hire the sheriff to come evict you and to sell your property. Maybe, maybe that, they just hang on to it. Maybe that just, just sits there. And um, I'm not sure what the maximum amount is, but typically there's an interest rate given with each judgment. 
I've seen 12%. I think someone I heard say it was now down to 10%. But either way, that's a lot of interest. So, you know, another example we saw was somebody who did, uh, somebody's parent was involved in a lawsuit. It was a small claim. It was like- It was so small. $300 against yeah. him. But the judge gave him that $300 judgment plus 12% interest per year. And that person hung on to that judgment for 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. 20. And the payoff they wanted eventually was like, you know, $65,000 for yeah. this thing. After and, the woman had died yeah. out of her estate, they wanted this money. And it's just an automatic payment to the person. Yeah. The, per the, the people selling the house, the owners couldn't get paid until after that creditor was paid. So somebody comes and, you know, they're angry because of your yard signs or whatever you're doing with your house, whatever's bugging them. Mm -hmm. You get a lawsuit against you. The judgment will automatically attach to your property. And then at some point you're going to be paying them. It's crazy. Yeah. Our legal Com system is crazy. Completely unreasonable. Which is why it's important to do asset protection. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So you can take steps mm -hmm. that um, discourage people from filing these lawsuits or make it harder for them to get judgments for these ridiculous lawsuits. Um, and also it can prevent that automatic attachment of right. a judgment if you don't own the real estate in your name. Even so if, that it doesn't come back to haunt you when you go to sell your house and buy a new one, or if your loved ones are, you know, taking care of your estate, it doesn't add additional Ooh. headache for them. Man, I am all worked up, Sharon. Yeah, I know. Woo! Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this worked. It's the first time we tried this. We got a green screen. I know. We got the little video. We're out getting there. so fancy, y'all. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Be kind to your neighbors. Yes.